Hey guys, this is your daily dose of movies. Today, I'm talking about drama, mystery, sci-fi movie, I Am Mother, with a budget of $5 million and rating of 6.7 by IMDb. In the near future, an extinction-level event rocks planet Earth, and an underground bunker is activated. Mother, a robot, begins her program and grows a human embryo into a baby, which she subsequently nurtures to adulthood. Mom says she needs time to learn about being a parent to a young daughter who questions why she's the only child. Mother and her teenage daughter are still living in the bunker many years later. In preparation for an approaching exam, Mother instructs daughter in the virtues of ethics and morality. After a while, the facility's power goes out, taking Mother with it. Daughter goes to find the source of the trouble and captures a mouse that led to an electrical malfunction. Although daughter interprets the mouse's appearance as a sign that life exists beyond the bunker, mom decides to dispose of the mouse because she fears it could carry sickness. A hazmat suit is donned and daughter sets off to explore the airlock of the facility. Once there, she hears a woman wounded badly from a gunshot and crying out for help from outside. It's a matter of seconds until mother's daughter unlocks the door and slips the woman into a hazmat suit leaving her hidden in the airlocks as Mother quickly shows up. Mother insists that contagion outside the bunker would kill her, and then tells her that she take her exam immediately. The daughter returns to the airlock and discovers the woman asleep in her slumber. Then, after finding a gun in her bag, she gives the woman some water, realizing that there can't be any contamination outside the bunker as she removes her mask to drink it. While daughter goes to get medical supplies, Woman sees Mother and reaches for her gun but finds it missing. Woman shoots at Mother but is quickly overpowered and taken to the infirmary, where the woman refuses Mother's medical aid. To protect her daughter, Mother admitted that she made up the toxicity levels outside to keep her safe and is not like the other robots. In order to help other survivors, Mother tells her daughter that she needs woman to cooperate. Despite her best efforts, daughter cannot persuade the woman that Mother is not evil as the woman has witnessed the violence committed by the robots. Mom denies knowing any other robots when asked by her daughter if she's ever been out of the bunker. The woman's condition worsens, and mother thinks she'll need surgery. A challenging yet successful surgery is aided by daughter when mother guides her through the surgery. After surgery the woman claims that she and her brother were on a food run when the robots attacked. Her brother distracted robots and she got away never making it back to the mines where her people live. Woman tells daughter she should go with her, but mother interrupts and insists that she take her exam first. Because the bullet they took out of woman matched the one that she shot at mother with a gun she smuggled in, not a gun robot's use, mother tells daughter. A human being shot her so mother thinks woman is dangerous. As the exam begins she's user 03, this suggests that there have been others before her which could indicate that the exam has been taken previously by others. On top of that, daughter is tested for her thoughts and emotions by answering questions, as well as her ability to recognize images from the past. She is tested physically in one part of the exam. Daughter passes examination better than ever. When she passes, mother allows daughter to choose a new embryo to add to their family. Daughter confronts woman about lying, but woman asks her if she saw the bullets with her own eyes. She breaches security and checks the bullets herself, and finds they don't match. It turns out her mother had raised several other children before her. There it is, user 02. And she discovers human remains in the furnace after going through more records. Daughter comes back to the woman, and tells her she believes her. Woman insists they go back to the tunnel, but daughter wants to wait for her currently gestating new brother and says they just need to stay one more night. Mother, who had been listening in on the escape plan, locks her up in a room, goes to woman and demands that she reveal where the tunnels are located. Daughter escapes, setting off the alarms, and woman is also able to flee. In order to escape, woman holds a knife to daughter's throat which forces mother to open the airlock, and they escape. Daughter is enraged but follows woman's lead. Outside, they narrowly avoid some other robots, which appear to be planting crops and purifying the air. When they come upon a beach full of containers, mines called by woman, it turns out woman lives here with a dog. Woman reveals that she fled the tunnels years ago, 
When daughter asks where's everybody else, daughter wants to find others, but woman says they had devolved into madness. Daughter is horrified she left her brother and flees to go back to the compound. Woman refuses because she's too scared. However, the dog makes sure to deliver her some love and affection before she returns to the bunker. Daughter is allowed to pass by a fleet of robots. She enters the compound, armed with an axe, and discovers her mother and brother inside. A new world where humans can thrive and raise ethical children is what mother says she was made to do, and when she witnessed the human race killing itself, she did something about it. Mother lets daughter hold her brother, but daughter tries to flee, mother pursues her down and catches her. In the face of this, her daughter aims a gun at her, but her mother reveals that she is, in fact, all of the robots on earth. Daughter pleads with mother to let her raise the brother on her own, and mother acquiesces, letting daughter shoot her, destroying that body. After implying that the woman was only alive and free to serve mother's plans, the mother kills her. A lullaby is sung by the daughter for her brother before she enters the embryo room, where she assumes her role as their mother. All in all while mother might seem evil on the surface, she still doesn't kill daughter when she returns at the end, because she came back to look after her new brother. By demonstrating her selfless desire to keep the human race alive, daughter proved that she was worthy and therefore passed mother's ultimate test. Hope you enjoyed this dose of movies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.